All right, it is January 4th, 2022. Happy New Year, everyone. Uh, Richmond, Virginia, we got about four to six inches of snow. You can see the sun's just peeking out through there. So it's time for me to start the rounds. All right, what's up, everyone? It's Hans here. Um, I'm trying a new thing out today where I'm um, doing the voiceover and also having a video in the corner of the screen. So let me know if you like that in the comments. Um, just by the way, this is two times speed, so that's why it looks a little quick. So here I'm trying out the back drag and seeing that it's really not going to work. So this, this plow has a lot of advantages, but one disadvantage is that it can't back drag worth a darn. So I think there might be an edge you can get for it that's meant for back dragging though, so I'll have to check that out. But um, I'm starting with my residential properties here. Um, you're going to see I do, I think, three residential properties, and then I move on to the row houses that where I do the sidewalks, and then finally I finish with a commercial property at the end. So uh, feel free to skip around. Um, I'm going to have chapters in the um, video, like on the little bottom part, so feel free to skip around if you'd like. So you can see here that this is very slushy snow. Um, the day before this, it was like 70 degrees. I was in short sleeves. And so the ground was definitely not frozen. Um, but then we got pounded uh, the morning of this video, um, probably about, yes, six or so inches fell on the grass. And then, um, you know, not as much made it on the pavement, but. Um, all these houses have a two inch threshold, which it was well above. Here I actually had forgotten my shovel, so I went back and finished that property, but I figured that wasn't interesting enough to make it in. Now I'm on my next one, it's a semicircle, which a lot of people um, try to avoid. It, it's a pain for plowing. Um, I found that if I'm going the right direction, it's a lot easier, which is why I'm plowing it in, in this direction, um, where you would think it'd be, you know, better to have it away from the house, but, um, I found that it's just, you get a lot more spill off when you go, um, trying to push around the curve the other way and angle the snow towards the curve. One thing I want to do, maybe in the off season, is try to devise a way to angle the plow while I'm still sitting on the machine. Um, I've had a lot of ideas in my head, I just haven't executed any of them yet, so stay tuned for that. I'll probably do a video on it. So you can see here when I'm trying to curve towards the bend, um, it's a lot easier for the snow to slip off the edge of the plow, which is why I only do that one pass like that. And also, you know, I am out there with a shovel. Like, it, it's just easier to get those last little bits like that. You know, maybe if I lived in Minnesota and had snow, you know, every day and it was always a foot, that would be impractical, but this is Virginia, so.
And of course, because I plowed it like that, I ended up plowing that car in. But I've never seen that car move from where it is every time I drive by the house. But still, I'm not going to leave it plowed in like that. Okay, so just so you can get an idea of the setup I'm working with, um, I've got two LED cubes in the back as well as those strobe lights. Some people have asked about these strobe lights. They're surface mount and they're mounted on um, like the builder's hardware um, angles. I'll uh, try to put a link in the description. And then I've got an LED cube facing diagonally sideways and backwards as well as the LED bar. So here I make the switch to time lapse. Uh, let me know what you like better, if you like that real time and then sped up or time lapse. Um, you can see this is a circle driveway, which a lot of people hate doing. Um, I've kind of figured out a way to do it best where I do an egg shape. You see the part that is closest to the road is a lower elevation. So obviously I want to push the snow away from the house, uh, which is why I'm going um, in that egg shape and then going back and um, getting the top part again away from the house. Oh, this house. Yeah, it was interesting that time. You'll see in a second. And it's hard to see with the time lapse here, but I actually am starting in the road and plowing in to get that entrance way clear. Um, this is just because of the nature of how the driveway is, I'm able to do that. And again, I'm using that shovel. I mean, like, you know, try to tell me that that's slower than if I was doing that with a plow. I mean, it's such little amounts of streaks, but I don't want to leave that out there. So it's just quicker to just do it this way. All right, so here you can see I'm uh, resetting those shoes and that's because I'm about to do a gravel section of the driveway. This is so I can float the plow over the gravel and not, you know, get a bunch of gravel uh, being pushed where I'm pushing the snow. But again, the gravel isn't hard. It's not a frozen driveway. But right here, you can see, now that's not the owner of the house. That's, I think, somebody who takes care of the owner. The owner's this really nice lady. Um, but this, this woman who came out, um, you know, some may call her a Karen. She was um, she came out and yelled at me because she said I was destroying the driveway. Um, but the, the owner of the property asked me to do it this way and, you know, she didn't realize that I really wasn't destroying the driveway because I was doing it the correct way. But, you know, you can't tell these people anything um, because they're, they're experts at snow plowing. So, all right, now here I'm doing my row houses. So I have about seven uh, houses that I do in an area of town that, um, where all the houses are lined up in a row and they all have sidewalks in front of them. And the city actually requires you to clear your sidewalk in front of your house because if anybody were to slip um, on the sidewalk in front of your house, they could sue you. So the landlord gets me to do this for all his rental properties. And I've gotten some comments in the past about driving on the street. Um, you know, I liken this to when you see a front end loader driving down the road going from one job site to the next. Um, that's all it is. I have warning lights. Um, and, you know, I've, I've passed police officers before and they've never given me a problem.
There's one of the tenants thanking me for doing that. And I mean, you can see how the ATV is just perfect for these sidewalks. I mean, it's the exact length you need. Um, it makes really quick work of them. And now I'm off to my commercial property. So at this point it was getting pretty cold and everything was icing over. 
So um, especially the parts that were driven on were hard to get all the ice out from under, but that's what the ice melts for. But I mean, that cutting edge does pretty well for being a four-wheeler blade. It's right down to the surface in most areas. So one person commented on a last video saying what happens when you get 12 inches of snow on this commercial lot and that's a great question. I haven't gotten 12 inches of snow yet. But you can see with this wet slushy snow, um, you know, that could be a challenge when I'm windrowing it all the way over across the parking lot. I um, did figure out one technique to um, provide a little bit of a relief, which I'll do in just a second and point out. So there. I put it on the angle setting, but it's a little bit more flat. That way it'll pick up more of the snow and, um, you know, get that big pile to the edge. And then I can keep wind growing. Yeah, you can see it building up on the plow there. And, you know, the 500cc engine just chugs, chugs through it. And now I'm back to full angle. But if we did get a foot, I could use my snowblower, which I haven't ever used yet. I bought it on sale and it's a, you know, two stage and I got it for I think 125 bucks last year. Never used it last year because we didn't get enough snow for it. But in the event that we did, I would be prepared. And I wouldn't use it on the whole thing. I would just use it on those windrow piles. Get them out of there.
And now I'm just going around with a flat blade and cleaning everything up. But this video is coming to an end. Um, you know, I'm gonna, if it snows more, I'm gonna get more footage and try to put more videos out. Also, I have a snow gun that I built a couple years ago and tried out last winter and the thing works really well. Um, it basically uses the same um, technology, I guess, as like what they would use for snow guns at ski resorts and it makes real snow. Um, it relies on the wet bulb temperature, but I'll go into that more when I make the video on it. But be sure to check that out when I come out with it. But thanks for watching and uh, like and subscribe if you want to.